They'll go seven ball, nine ball. If needed, they have eight ball for the playoff. And it's just been a fun tournament. Yes, it has. The round robin makes it a tough tournament because you have to play everybody once. So your best win-loss record will de determine the champion. All right. You have gone against both of these competitors, Irving Crane and Jimmy Karras. Irving Crane is a guy who not only can make some shots, you like the way he plays safe. Yes, I do. He's probably the best safe player in the world today. And there's one interesting thing about Irving Crane. He still competes with the younger players, which is really great for him to do because he's an older player now, and the other old players do not compete with us. You know, I know what safe means. I used to call it snookered. Explain what safe means. Safe is when you're hidden behind another object ball. In other words, if you must hit the two ball and you're hidden behind the three ball, it means you cannot hit the two ball directly. You're forced to go to a rail to hit it. And that really is the game, is to play safe and use position. You told me a story the first time you saw Jimmy Karras was on television, and you were duly impressed. Yes, I was. I seen him play Willie Marsconi, and I was very impressed. L Willie Marsconi had miscued, and Jimmy Karras ran out the game. That is what it's all about. We are going to see a great match today. We will see Irving Crane going against Jimmy Karras. You want to stick with us. All of the action coming up on ESPN. Stay right where you're at. Way, but trying to sink the seven ball on his side of the table. It banked off, sunk on Crane's side of the table. Crane won game number one. But Jimmy came back to win the second game of seven ball. So we pick up the action. Third game of seven ball, Karras and Crane tied at one game apiece. Enjoy. Herb Brown, Alan Hopkins back at the Concord Hotel. Game three coming up. Irving Crane okay. and Jimmy Karras are tied at one. Karras to break. That's a good break. We've seen the seven go down a time or two on the break. No ball pocket on the break. UJ Puckett showed choice. us an aggressive break in his match with Wimpy Lassiter. He won that uh, seven ball competition Crane and the nine ball far competition. Side. Karras, you got the near side. Far side for Irving Crane, side. near side for uh, Jimmy Karras. He's got himself a long, tough shot here. He's got to play the one in the corner and bring the cue ball back down for the two ball on the bottom part of your screen. And he's looking now to see where he wants to place the cue ball. It's not an easy shot at all. Al, uh, what kind of English do you put on this ball for the person who's trying to learn the game? Try to make the one. Now, how do you get down for the well, deuce? Well, it's, it's a lot of draw with left hand English. But he doesn't want to come too far because if he makes the seven ball, see what the seven ball is next to the cue ball. If he brings the cue ball back too far and makes the seven on that side of the table, well, this is his side of the table, though, so he'll be okay. He will be okay. So he'll just try and bring it back as far as he can. See, well, that's the problem. When you hit the ball hard, if you touch either rail, the ball is not going. And that's what happened. If he hit the ball rather well, too, he almost made it. That's a tough shot for anybody, though. One ball. There's that shot he come up and use the six ball as, as a stopper. Stopping the cue ball so he stays down here for position for the two. We're looking at the co-holder along with Willie ball. Moscone of the world's record high run. 127 during tournament play. It happened back in 1947 at Kansas City. Five by ten table. That's a great run on a five by ten. Mm. This is my side. This yeah. is a four and a half by nine Gandhi table. Your pool tables are always longer than Three wide. Ball. Yes, they More are. They're length. always twice as long as they are wide. The table is four foot wide. It'll be eight feet long. They have tables three by six, three and a half by seven, your bar tables, four by eight. Some tournaments are played on them. Four and a half by nine. It's your standard table today. Karras was the man of the year in billiards. Named by the Brunswick Corporation back in 1968. Ball ball. Delicate shot here. He's got to get position on the five just right. Gonna hit it rather easy. Hit the six. Okay. He's made a nice shot. Living dangerous. Doesn't scratch. How do you like to lay now, the five, six, and seven? Well, he has a tough shot on the five. The seven ball is not on his side of the table. It's on Irving Crane's side of the table, so he's got to be careful. Oh, he played a safe. Played a safe. Safety allow. And it's not... 
It's it's okay. He's, Irving Crane will try and make the five. I don't think he'll play safe. I think I think in that spot, Jimmy Carr should have tried to cut the five in the corner and knock the seven ball on his side of the table. Five in the corner. Tough cut coming up. Let's see if Irving Crane can handle. He's got to get downstream for the six. Oh, that's a great shot. shot. Made it look easy. <laughs> yes, he did. It was a good <laughs> shot. A little right-hand English. All right, he's got the six. Come off the rail for the seven, Allen. Yes. No, he should have no problem here. Seven's over there. on his side of the table. And once again, he checks with Charlie Ursetti to make sure because they're not used to playing this rule. This is low left-hand English. Slides it in. Very seven nice. In the corner. Corner. Well, Irving Crane is about to move up two games to one. Game he does. Crane. Irving Crane has won the second match in his go with Jimmy Karras. Best of seven in seven ball competition. Then we'll go to nine ball competition. Let's take a look at this long shot on the five. This was a great shot. He had to hit it easy to hold the cue ball for the six ball. He hits it just at the right angle, comes around two rails, and out for the six ball. Yep. One more time, Al, because that was a pretty shot. See the speed he hits this. The speed is very important here. Hits it right at the right spot just to make it. That's a great shot. He just impresses you. Long and lanky, a gentleman. Crane and Karras, you mentioned at the top you thought it'd be a great match. Oh, Game I still do. Four, it's going to be a very Lee, close match. Four ball went in on a break. All right, let's see what uh, Jimmy Karras decides now. Karras, your choice. He'll take the side closest to where the seven is. I'll take this side. Karras, at the near side screen, you have the side you're on. So you heard Alan Hopkins point out that Jimmy Karras would take the near side, and he does. Question on the break. Uh, Irving Crane used draw uh, spin, draw English. Is that just to make sure you don't scratch? Well, he, he, made, he made a bad break. He doesn't have really a great break. He let the cue ball go on the break. It follows after he hits the one ball, and it shouldn't. It should, like, stick in the middle of the table. He just made a great shot on the one, by the way. Boy, is he tough shot on it. those thin cuts. Yes, he is, but you're going to see a little problem this rack. When we come back to the table, the five ball is in a very tough spot here. I don't know if you can see the five yet. It's up by the, the side pocket. There it is next to the three ball. He's going to have a problem with the five ball. He's going to have to do something with that five. Oh, he got perfect on three the three. So the five would follow because the four is gone. Now what do you do, Al? Well, he's got, you know, he's he got nice on the three ball. He's got easy position play on the five, but he's got to get just right on the five so he can make the five and get on the six. And it's not going to be easy. It's going to be interesting to see what he does. He's going to have to put the cue ball right off the rail just a little bit. And he did. Five in a corner. He got perfect. But he has to be careful drawing this ball back because he could scratch in the side. He may just cinch the five ball and keep the cue ball there. I want to see what he does. Well, if you're looking ahead, too, if you keep okay. the cue ball right there, now he's got a delicate shot to get position for the seven. It's clear up on the rail on the other side. Not an easy cut uh, he's got Jimmy's coming. Got this side. See where he the cue ball is? He had no part. choice on that shot. He only could leave the cue ball right there. If he'd have tried to do something Six with the cue the ball, he probably would have either missed the five or scratched. And his seven has to go on the other side. The cue ball is near Jimmy Karras's side. Oh, tough shot. He has it to get on the right shot. side of the seven ball. Let's see if he got there. Oh, he oh, got perfect. Great position. Oh, what he did to Karras is unbelievable. Yeah, it, is. <laughs> it is something. He's got a safe. He's Look at Jimmy Karras. He says, Rags Woods, do you want to shoot this shot? Rags Woods knocked off Minnesota Bats. Look at this. How do you like that, Charlie? No, he, made, he really, he's really made a great shot. He, he missed the six ball, but he got good on the seven ball. He's left. Jimmy Karras, a bank shot. Oh, well. Jimmy Karras has to go to the side rail there, right about at the middle diamond, and try and make the six ball. If he misses, it'll be ball in hand. Six. And he probably will lose the game. He doesn't have to lose it from there, though. Let's see if he can make this bank. Looks no. Mm. So he doesn't have to lose the game from here now, okay? Because Irving doesn't have to get good on the seven. Another he figures to, but he doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. So it's ball, ball in hand, hand here. Mr. Crane playing a six ball in the corner. Oh, yeah. Boy. This is interesting, Al. Now, this is some great strategy. Tell me heavy. how you would play this now, shot. Once again, the seven has to go away from the side he's on where the ball is right now. Right. He's, he's gonna, the speed is very important here. He wants to make sure he does not scratch in the corner up in your right-hand screen. Six in the corner. Top of your right-hand corner of your screen. So he has to make sure the speed he hits it. So he puts a little left on. Oh, it looks like He doesn't like want to scratch now. Perfect. perfect. What a perfect. shot. It's a great shot. shot. What a great shot by that Irving is a... Crane. Listen to the crowd. 
Seven in the corner. Irving Game Crane just Crane. moved up three games to one. What a pretty shot by Irving Crane. Great shot. And you know, you pointed out so many times, Alan, that luck does enter in. He got lucky when he missed a six ball, snookered the uh, snookered his opponent. Jimmy Cares. Let's take a look from the overhead camera, one of our better shots. This is a great position shot. He plays two rails, one rail there, going to the side rail, making sure he does not scratch, and coming down to the bottom for the seven ball. That's a great shot. So after four games, Irving Crane knocks the seven ball in and Crane now leads Jimmy Karras three games to one in our competition. We're oh, playing for $10,000. Hopkins, I'm Irv Brown. Happy to be game with five. you as we're Crane watching Irving Crane going against Jimmy Karras. There's a story. Crane showed us a couple of great shots for position in that last game. Yes, he did. He, he played great. This is the spectacular, legendary pocket billiards. Third go around. They haven't had competition, Alan, since 1956. Got together a couple years ago. I see this thing just getting bigger and better. One ball. Players seem to like it. You need competition or to be playing well. You have to have the competition. All these great players, they thrive on competition. The more competition, the better they play. Tell you what's interesting is Irving Crane leaves the one. We've got a lot of old-timer baseball games going around the country, but you're talking about your heroes with arthritis and faded vi fading vision, and, and they really can't do much but go out and get the applause, and people like the memories. But one now ball. you have people like Jimmy Karras and Irving Crane can still play the game, 65, oh. 70 years of age. doesn't matter. A tremendous amount of talent for, to still be able to play. They really have a tremendous amount of talent. And I tell you, some young whippersnapper will come along and say, uh, I can handle these guys, and these fellows will take your money. Free ball. <laughs> That's right. What Shot. a cut. He's still a great player. He's gonna, oh, he tried to kick the seven over on his side of the table, but he's all right. <laughs> and, of course, you can combo it if the seven goes down on your side. Four. Here's the six. He'll probably make the six on the side also. He makes the four. Look, Look at that he, combo. He, he tried to make four. the six. He was thinking. Made a nice shot on the Ford. Four was no easy shot. Six. I'll tell you who impresses me is Charlie Urseta. You talk about awareness. Five ball. He had that bridge out before Jimmy Carr stepped up. He knows the game. I guarantee you. And he's a pretty good pull shooter. I was watching him with you this afternoon. Six in the corner. That's my side. Your side right to me. Where the seven ball is. He's the kind of guy I'd like to play every day. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd like to play all of us every day. <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy's got a shot here. He'll follow the cue ball up a little bit, playing the six in the corner. Put Hyamish on the cue ball, follow down for the seven. Seven in the corner. So Jimmy Karras, an easy shot, can pick up his second win in this set, and he does. He trails Irving Crane three games to two. Best of seven. Made a nice run out there. He made a few key shots. The four ball in the corner was a great shot, almost making the six in the 20 side. 20% luck. Jerry Cooney was in the crowd today. I'm trying for 21 percent. <laughs> My partner Alan Hopkins no, shot really a ball out of his mouth. Cooney wasn't that scared. I think he was when more he fought Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> he was more scared of me than he was Holmes. I think. <laughs> I think so. Mark Gassinaw was here. Did not do the dance. In fact, he wanted Game to play pool. He was upset. Trail, three, two. Ready? Jimmy Karras trailing three to two. We'll break. This is the competitive spirit. Look at those eyes. You think he isn't ready? This He's thing ready. isn't over. No, it isn't. It's far from over. All he's do is make a ball here and get a shot. No balls are pocket on the break. Billy Armstrong, another one of the fighters training here at the Concord, was in today. Had a nice come and go crowd. Seemed to be enjoying themselves. Green at the near side. Billy Costello, the WBC welterweight champion, was here. Yep. Jimmy got the far side. He's left Irving Crane safe. Irving is snookered behind the four ball. He's forced to go to the side rail and try and kick at the one. There's the four ball. Looks like he cannot hit the one. He's going to have to go to the side rail and try and hit the one. We were talking about a game of golf on a snooker table, and you always get this shot because you have certain pockets. You have your out hole. And... He might be able to hit the one straight on. Boy, isn't that it deceiving? Is. It is. Try. I thought he was hooked. He played the combination one, ball. On one into the two. I didn't like that. was a rather tough shot. And he's left Jimmy in a tough situation here. Jimmy's got to cut the one in. 
Go up and down the table for the two ball. He overcut the one. Came back table for the one back down the table corner. for the two. So he'd had position, but he missed the one. It's a big advantage here because Jimmy Karras broke the balls. Irving Crane chose the side of the table which the seven is on. So Irving knows that even if he doesn't get out and he misses either one of these balls, Jimmy Karras still has to bank the seven ball. What a cut. It's a nice shot. Two ball in a corner. We've seen six competitors, and he has showed me more as far as thin cuts than anybody. He has a very keen eye for the pocket. Here he has a little tough position play. He's going to have to cut the two in and come down table for the three. He does not want to get straight on the three. He's going to have to leave himself an angle. Yeah. And he's left himself tough. Mm. Three ball in a corner. He did not want to touch the four ball. Got a very tough cut shot here, but if he makes it, he'll have position on the four, I believe. This is speed control. How hard you hit this ball? He's been overcutting these shots. Let's see if he corrects himself. Oh, great oh, shot! He cut. This guy carried a 180 average in bowling. It's just a—he's an athlete. Used to play semi-pro baseball. We're talking about uh, people doing other things. Four he was a corner. pitcher and an outfielder. Plus, he's an author. He's got the Young Sportsman's Guide to Pocket Billiards. It was published in '64. Well, what do you do now, Coach? He's got a combination. Combination five into the six. He'll play a combination, and his next shot, he'll probably put the five ball on the other side of the table and bring the cue ball back up table for the five. Unless he gets a double kiss here. He could make the six and get a double kiss with the cue ball into the five. Let's see the way he plays it. Billy Costello, the guy you're talking about, is over there. He's telling him, hey, I'd like to try that shot. See how he leaves himself here. Very important. He gets position on the five. Okay. Oh, he may he make the five. It. No, he left it on the other side of the table for position. What a that, great shot. That was a great shot. That's very important. The speed and how hard to hit that. So he does have a shot after he makes the six. He'll come up here. Two rails for the seven ball. There's one. One, two. Shot. Well, Irving Crane nice leading shot. three I games to two could check. wrap up nice the seven time. ball competition. Just like once again, sign. he's making sure. The game and set. You broke. Well, now there's a little confusion. You broke. You broke. Jimmy Karras is Earth talking to Charlie you. Ursetta. You broke the ball, sir. Did I break? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. See, I was saying before how it was a big advantage yeah, not to break the balls. <laughs> well, here it cost Jimmy Karras the game because Irving got seven ball on his side of the tail. We can shoot it straight in the corner. And he does. Set, that cut. As long as well, he, he makes scratch. it look easy. Holds the cue ball, so Irving Crane has we picked up 10 ball. points. We're playing for $10,000. Second prize is $5,000. $3,500 for third. $2,500 for fourth. The other remaining competitors get $1,000. Sponsored by Big Fights Incorporated. Let's take a look at the setup here. This is nicely done. He hits the five into the six, brings the five on the other side of the table. And the cue ball comes up just a little bit for an angle Let's on the five on so he can get position for the seven next. Great shot. So Irving Crane has defeated Jimmy Karras in seven ball, four games to two. We'll be back for the nine ball competition. In a, ball, in a game right now, I should say, with Jimmy Karras, Irving Deacon Crane, the 68 world champion. Right now, the competition is tied at one. And now a little explanation once again on nine ball. It's different than the seven ball competition. Yes, it is. It's a lot harder to make game a ball in the three, break than seven ball. And it's a lot harder also to make the, the nine ball than it is to make the hard. seven and seven ball. Game There's two extra ball. balls on the table. You do not lose if you scratch on the nine or the seven ball, you lose. If you make the, the seven ball on the break, I wish it hadn't. I see Irving letting him letting his ball go on the break like he like he's been doing lately. Finally, it shows ball, up. Right, he should have the cue ball in the middle of the table. If he had the cue ball in the middle of the table, well, he'd have, have a shot at the Houdini one. But right now he's behind the nine ball. He really doesn't even have a shot to even hit the one. If he hits the one, it'll be a great shot. And you heard him one. say he was sorry that the five went down. You make a great point, Al. He doesn't. Ooh, that's shot. a great, great shot, shot right there. What a shot! Oh, that wasn't easy to do, Irv. <laughs> that was a tremendous shot. Plus, he leaves Jimmy Karras nothing. The five went down. 
This is game three. Crane and Karras, nine ball competition. Let me play a safety. Safety allowed. It's a good safe, too. Shot. <laughs> Very cautious game. A couple of Tigers just kind of feeling each other out here. Playing to hit the one. Nice and shot. Makes a nice safety. And he gets away with it, I believe. That's an excellent shot. If Jimmy Karras goes for the corner, it looks like a scratch shot here, Alan. Jimmy Karras shakes his head. Yes, he can't He can't try and make that in the corner. If he does, he will scratch in the side. He's going to try and play a safety. I don't think he has a shot. If he tries to make it, it's going to be a very tough shot without scratching. Well, you got to put a lot of left low on it, don't you? Extreme draw left. He's not going. He's going to play a safety. Well, let's see if he gets behind the six. Oh, he's made a great what shot. A shot. He's <laughs> behind the five. It doesn't roll down too far. Well, it's still rolling. I believe Irving Crane can see it. Not an easy shot anyway, even if he can see it. He's up against the rail. The only thing he can do with the cue ball is follow it. Neither one of these guys exactly leave you a lot. No, they don't. They're very good safety players, both of them. Looks like Irving's going to try and make the ball. Tough shot. Uh, Alan, tough uh, shot. just a thought. A couple of cautious players, and, and then both will meet Minnesota Fats <laughs> coming up in the competition. Who just lets it all hang out? Is that an advantage for a, a cautious player? Two ball Does it corner. mean anything? Yes, it is. I feel that these players will have... Fatty is so loose and doesn't really care what kind of shot he shoots were these are very cautious players three ball fatties have to make more mistakes than these two players which could cost them matches you know he lost his match with UJ because of a few mistakes he made excuse me not UJ rags that's right uh, we remember that competition it was a Four simple ball five ball <laughs> shot for Minnesota fats and uh, boy, that that turned that one completely around. Jimmy Karras with the pool cue now. That's a good shot if he doesn't get behind the eight ball. Oh, Ooh, boy, what a tough boy. roll there! Right behind the eight. It has not gone well for Jimmy Karras. He's been shaking his head. He's tied one game apiece with Irving Crane. Crane won the first set in seven ball. Karras needs this to pick up the 10 points and a chance for the other 10. They would go to eight ball. That's the playoff. Well, Jim, this oh is boy. a tough spot he's in now. He's talking to himself now. That's usually when you're in trouble, when you start talking to yourself. Jimmy, my boy, why'd you do it, he six. says. He might make this. It's a good shot. Good shot is right. He played the right shot. That was a good shot. Right man, speed man. and everything. If he missed the ball, he figured to leave Irving Crane. A tough shot, and he did. Irving Crane has a couple of choices here. He can play the six ball in the corner, cut it in the opposite corner, right hand on the bottom right hand side of your screen, or he could play a safety, bringing the six ball to the bottom rail, back up table to the left hand side of your screen, bringing the cue ball behind the seven ball. This is a lot like uh, a baseball pitcher, Allen. Both players take a great deal of time. You do that in baseball, and your infielders get back on your heels. If you're uh, a Minnesota Fats, let's say, who plays very fast, going against an Irving Crane who takes his Six time, ball. does that break your rhythm? Does that discourage you and actually hurt your timing? It slows you up. A fast player against a slow player, if the slow player plays very deliberate and makes most of his shots and plays good safeties, he will slow a fast player down. A fast player will start missing more balls and getting nervous because a fast player is used to being up at the table and shooting more, where a slow player can sit down for 10, 15 minutes and not bother him so much because he's used to playing slow anyway. Do you have a rule in your sport? Will the referee speed him up at all? Because it's a definite advantage to, uh, I would think, to slow down a, a hyper, quick, nervous type of a player. Oh, look at that. No, there's no rule. There's no time schedule as far as playing. I think the referee, it's to the referee's discretion. If he feels that you're taking time or stalling, he will tell you, you know, please shoot. If you don't shoot, you will, be caught, you will be charged with a foul. Let's take a look at the shot again because it was a beaut. Here he played a safety, but Seven he ball. ended up making the six ball. Now he has to play it. 
He's going to play the seven off the corner. A very tough shot. And he overcut it. That was a very yeah, tough shot. One. And he's left Jimmy Karras with no simple shot either. Seven ball. Jimmy Karras hadn't had much to shoot at today at all. No. It's been a little frustrating. Uh, he's got a little bit of a tough shot here. The cue ball is frozen against the rail. I mean, it's touching the rail. And well, he's got to come back out for the eight ball without scratching in the side. Yep. Tough mm. shot. He hit it very, very good, too, but it's where the pressure shows up. You've got to make that ball. Looking at the position of the three balls left, looks like he's in great shape for this one. Where do you want the cue ball to wind up now for the eight? Well, he's got a wide open table, but I don't think he got, he got lucky. Believe me, he got lucky there. If he doesn't touch the eight, he comes down table and leaves himself a very tough shot. Now he's got, he doesn't have well, a very it, easy shot anyway, but at least it's a lot better than what ball. he would have had. He's going to follow the ball and go right into the nine ball here. Well, he leaves himself a long one, but he's been so effective with these cuts. No, well, he can have this one, Irv. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's on the line here. Crane and Karras are tied at one. Corner. This is no easy shot here, Irv. Uh, you're absolutely right. Let's see where this cue ball winds up. Look at that. shoot at him. Now. He played the cue ball right. He brought the cue ball right down the table and left Jimmy a long shot also. Anytime you have a long shot or if it's tough. He made it. Okay. Jimmy Karras <laughs> wins game number three. So the competition between Jimmy Karras and Irving Crane after three games, it's Karras two games to one. Crane won the seven ball competition. We'll be back with more nine ball right after this. Court Hotel in the Catskills. This is the legendary Game pocket billiards four. stars Kyra tournament. It's a round robin tournament. Jimmy Karras leads this uh, set two games to one. We're playing nine ball. Five ball went in on a break. And the five went down, Alan. Yes, but he doesn't have a shot. Snooker. Got himself snuggered. He really hasn't been getting too many rolls. Jimmy Karras hey, grins. Did I hit him hard enough? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you just got a bad roll. They all love you, Alan. Yep. <laughs> That's what I like. As long as they're not this. playing me. <laughs> People aren't Frank afraid to come over and talk to you. <laughs> ah, let's see if he plays yep. safe here. Uh, he got a bad break. Bad Browns. One ball in the corner. Got a bad break there. Would have left him safe. This is Irving Crane. A little bit aggravated about the last game, not getting out. He should have gotten out there. He had the 7-8-9 yep. on the table. Looked like it was going to be his. Irving Crane started playing in World Championship Pocket Billiard Tournaments in April of 1937. Got a tough shot now. He can't make the two in the corner. I think he's going to play it in the side. And he does. But he doesn't like Ooh. the shot. He's left himself snookered. The three is covered by the four. Not only is it covered, it's not an easy ball to hit. He's got the seven ball on the side rail there where he really liked to hit the cue ball. Well, you know, taking a look at it, trying to figure an angle as a novice, I don't see one. Tell me what you would do in this case. The only thing he can do is go up and down the table, the long rail. It doesn't look like he can hit it where the seven ball is. He's going to have to come down to the bottom part of your screen, hit that rail, and come back up and try and hit the three. And he's going to have problems. If he hits it, he could scratch. That good-looking guy in the background there is Willie Moscone. He just kind of reeks of, of class, doesn't he, huh? There's Willie. Unable to participate. You see the bandage on his ear. He had some minor surgery. And yet he has not missed a match. He's been in every game. Playing to hit the three ball. Here he's going to the side. That's going to be a tough shot to hit. Well, there was it. no angle, was there? No. He had a very tough shot to hit. 
And he'll give cue ball in hand anywhere on the table to ball Jimmy Karras. Playing to three ball. Which is a very big advantage. Jimmy has a nice layout here. All the balls are off the rail. They're all like near the center of the table. He'll play the three in the side, the four in the corner. Three in the side. The four in the, in the corner. Ball, ball in the corner. It's more like a little stop, draw back a little bit for the six. Six ball Perfect. in the corner. Perfect. Jimmy Karras leads this competition two games to one. Here he'll draw back a little bit. He doesn't want to be over the nine ball. So he'll draw back Seven a little bit so he can make his bridge. It's a if little I, something Irv, that a lot of players don't pick up. They leave the cue ball there and have a tough bridge on their next shot. That's right. If I'm betting, I'm betting this thing's over. You have Eight a good bet. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you, that little bulldog out there, look at him walk around that table. Here's a nice shot. He's going to draw the cue ball back one rail and out. Oh, nice. Oh, Got to make sure he doesn't scratch. scratch. Huh? Yeah, he leaves it on the rail. Nine ball in the Left corner. himself a tough shot. This is not an easy shot, Irv. No, it isn't. Ah. Yeah, you were absolutely Might have made right the other. Well, not an easy down. shot. Let's see if it hangs up on the rail. Might roll on the side. Oh, look at <laughs> it. Almost rolled Nine in the side, Irv. <laughs> that would have been a... Really funny shot at that road in the side. I don't think Irving would have liked that too much. Mm. All right. So yeah. Irving Crane with a thin cut ties this thing up a two. And boy, you think you think you got it wired because Jimmy Karras felt that one was wired. He came out just a little too much on the eight ball. Couldn't get the position on the nine. And we're tied at two. Crane has already picked up ten points. We're playing for ten thousand dollars first prize money. The second place person gets 5,000. We drop down to 3,500, then 2,500. Then the remaining three competitors get $1,000 apiece. If you think about it, Irv, the last game, Irving Crane didn't get out when he was supposed to. And now this game, Jimmy Karras did not get out when he was supposed to. So it makes up for Irving's mistake. I think that would relax Irving a little better, make him feel a little better that Jimmy Karras didn't get out either when he was supposed to. Looking around the crowd, this thing has really slowed the crowd down. The game with uh, Moscone and, and Woods was a very quick, fast-paced game, and and the crowd really got into it. The crowd is not in this one. No, it's a safety play. They do not understand what's going on. That's why they're not into it. Or it's a very cautious uh, type of game. It's a belt and suspender game. It's it's very very safe. Irv's got a, a little bit of a tough shot on the one ball, but the three ball is in a tough spot what he's concerned about right now he's not really concerned about making the one or getting on the two it's the three ball he's a little concerned about I was watching Irving Crane before the match go through a few warm-up things and he got the bridge out and he warmed up oh look at this oh he caught a bad break looks like he's frozen right behind the three ball well Let's see if he, he'll have to go across, hit a rail first. Trying to hit the two ball. Funny things could happen here. <laughs> he almost <laughs> made it. <laughs> yes, he did. He almost did. You had that one uh, wired, didn't you? Young Hoppy, as they call him, <laughs> does not miss too much. <laughs> All right, here's the bridge. He'll cut this in the corner and come up for the 3-9 combination. He's going to play the combination next, I believe. Can't lay on the table like you used to when you were a kid. To shoot. You no. got to keep one foot on the table, on the ground, I should say. If that ball hits the bridge, it's a scratch. No, it's a foul. Three, they call it a foul. foul. I should say. It's got a tough shot here. This is a tough. This is no easy combination. This can be missed. And it was. Those combinations have to be perfect. We've seen a couple, but we've seen more missed than than have gone down. They are tough. Anytime you shoot a combination, it's tough. You must hit the object ball exactly into the second object ball right where you want to to make it and if you don't you're going to miss the combination that's just what happened right there Irving has what we call a kiss shot on the nine ball he can hit the three first and kiss the cue ball off the three and into the nine or you carom they call it caroming or kissing I call it kissing the ball into the nine and making the nine in the corner now would you do this playing to hit the three and billiard the nine uh, okay there it is 
I probably would. It looks like it's it looks like it's pretty much on. Game yes, oh, there there's it is. a game, and Alan Hopkins calls it exactly. Irving Crane moves up three games to two. Let's take another look at this shot, Al, that you called. It's a kiss shot, hitting the three first, caroming into the nine and making the nine in the corner. Very nicely done. So after five games, competition in nine ball, Irving Crane has won three. Jimmy Karras has won two. We'll be back with more nine ball action. The third annual legendary pocket billiard stars tournament. Irving Crane can wrap it up. He leads Jimmy Karras three games to two. Alan, I got to tell you, um, you know, you, you watch the momentum and everything. The first two games with uh, that uh, we saw with uh, Minnesota Fats and UJ Puckett, a couple of people who like to talk to the audience, they kid a lot. The crowd really into it. Both these gentlemen are very serious, very methodical, play a lot of safe, and the crowd has been out of it since moment one. It's been a long game also. These two players are tournament players are champions okay they've won between these two players they hold like 12 world titles okay in straight corner. pool only mm -hmm. and you're very they're very serious when they come to the table and they play very good safety and what happens is the people that are watching do not understand exactly what's going on the intensity level here has been much higher safety. than previous matches oh they're playing for 10,000 oh, yeah. they're, they're trying to win that 10,000 I'll tell you what's going to be interesting though is when the split comes when a pucket plays a, a crane or a Minnesota Fats uh, plays a Karras. It's going to be interesting to see the reaction. Well, you also Safety. see the difference in play. Wow. You'll see a lot different play, too. Uh, One ball in a corner. These two players have a lot of respect for each other, where they may not have the same respect for UJ Puckett or Minnesota Fats. They're good friends. They ate dinner together uh, this evening. They're good friends, but they also have a lot of respect, mm. a tremendous amount of respect. They know how much... They know what each one is capable of. Two on the side. So Irving Crane will play the deuce in the side. He leads the three games to two. Won the first set. Has ten points. I don't think he hit that one hard enough. That's not what he wanted to do. He may have gotten lucky. Though. He may have the three in the corner. Four sitting right out there, so will he just freeze the cue ball? The no, he's got three, pretty good angle from the corner. He's made it. It's a nice shot. Nice shot. And now he's four got to play the, the four and play position for the six ball. A five isn't on the table. Not an easy shot to play position for. He's going to take this hard. He does. Six in the corner. Does not want to get straight on the six. He wants a little bit of an angle. He has to come up table. He'll put this a little right hand on this side. A high right hand. She wants to follow the ball with right hand to bring the cue ball up table. Okay. Oh, he it comes looks up. like he's in Good excellent shot. shape. Shot. May hit a little too hard. Too hard. Mm, he did. Will he bank this or uh, try and cut? No. I don't believe he'll bank. I believe he'll either play safe or try and cut it in. I don't Tough think cut. you'll. I don't think you'll see him shoot too many banks. He's Unless it's on, if it's online, he'll play it. Uh, he's going to play a cut in, I think. I don't like where the cue ball is going, though, after oh, he makes yeah. this. What is he going to do with the eight? Avoids a scratch. Oh. There, does he? Ooh, he made a nice shot if it slows shot. up. Oh, no. my goodness. Close to your work. little bank shot coming up here, Al? No, he'll either play safe or cut up the corner. I think he's going to play a safety. So he will put, uh, what, a little right hand on the ball and try and get behind the nine with the cue ball? I might hit the, the eight almost straight into the rail, drawing the cue ball back to the bottom rail and putting the eight on the other bottom rail, on the other rail up the table. Or just hitting the eight one rail and putting the eight down the table. He's going to put play a safety. He may do exactly what I said, hitting the eight in, right into the rail, to the bottom rail, and the cue ball to the bottom rail, trying to get him behind the Safety's nine if he out. can. If he could have gone behind tough. the nine, it would have been a lot better. <laughs> well, that's the best shot I could make. He made a good shot. Excellent shot. Jimmy Karras can see it. Make. He'll bank here, Willie Allen? Yes, I believe he's going to. No, he's playing a safe. Ooh, got a kiss. But he got away with it, yes, too. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> As you mentioned, Finally sometimes you'd rather be. <laughs> you heard him. Sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good. He was very lucky there. He should have scratched in the corner. He got a double kiss on the A, which he should have scratched on. 
now Irving Crane will play the shot I was talking about. He'll hit it straight into the rail, over to the side rail, and back down by the nine ball, and bring the cue ball back to the bottom rail. I don't believe he'll play a shot here. He'll play a safety. Either that or hit the eight thin and bring the cue ball behind the nine ball, which is not a bad shot either, if he can get away with it. And it's tough to snooker somebody with only one ball on the table to work with. Yes, it is. All right, he's going to draw it. Well, he was going to draw it. <laughs> We're talking about $10,000. A lot of decisions. He's going to Crane force leads it three games to two. He's playing his safety. Oh, he banked. Oh. oh, well, he leaves it out in the middle. No, he left it safe. <laughs> my goodness. He got lucky. Oh, my goodness. Couldn't play safe. Alan Hopkins knows the role of these tables even before the ball stops. He's got another safety he's going to play. Putting the eight ball behind the nine. I don't know if he got there or not. No, well, it looks like Crane can see it here. What do you do here, Al? You try and bank? You play safe? <laughs> it's right in the middle. No man's land. That's like uh, getting an eight in blackjack. <laughs> he's got a couple shots here. He can bank the eight ball cross corner, or he can just bank the eight down to the bottom end of the table and lead the cue ball right behind the nine. I don't think he'll try and cut this in. This is an awful tough cut shot. And if he misses it, he'll lose the game. This is a very big game. And he's trying to cut it in, it looks like. Oh, oh that's a, a good shot. shot. Let's see what the position is now. Perfect. Perfect position is right. The Irving Crane. For game, set, and match. You heard Charlie? Game, set, and match. There it is. Let's take a look at what gets it done. What a cut. This is a great shot on here. The eight. Mm. Plays the eight in the corner, comes around four rails for position. That takes a lot of touch. That I'll is something. You. Put a little left hand on it, brings it all the way back for the nine ball. One more angle, Alan. Let's take a look at this eight ball going down. Great cut shot. He has to hit it awful thin. He just catches it, just makes it. That's a great shot, Irv. Irving Crane has won the nine ball competition. He also won the seven ball competition. That's worth 20 points. We'll be back in the Catskills right after this. Play, I, I said your safety play was gonna come into play here and it finally earned you a shot at the eight ball in the final game and you had a tough shot. And Do you feel your safety play won the match for you? I think it played a, a big part in it and sometimes it depends on how the balls lay and. Sometimes you want to shoot at a shot and you shouldn't. You should play safe, which I did. And the eight and the nine on the table, the last shot there, I didn't want to play it because if you miss it, you lose the game. And you can lose the whole set by losing that one shot. But when I looked it over, I said, well, yeah, I had to shoot. And then I've got to hit it with enough speed to come around for a shot. And it worked out fine. I, uh, I shot at it. That was it. I happen to know you're a very good three cushion player. Do you feel yeah. that helped you a lot in that shot? Uh, many games that I've played in the call shot and also these games, uh, the knowledge of three cushion billiards is very, very important. Going up and down the table for position, going three rails for position, uh, it's meant a whole lot to me in the last 30, 40 years. I think it has anyway. Well, you've beaten Jimmy Karras and you beat him two sets in a row. Do you feel you're going to do well in the tournament, win the tournament. How do you feel about that? Uh, I never predict winning a game or winning a tournament. I will tell you one thing. I expect to play well. Uh, any one of these fellas will able to beat me, and I'm liable to beat any one of the fellas. Uh, uh, you see me tomorrow night, and I'll let you know roughly what I'm going to do. Well, your next opponent is the champion from last year, Luther Lasseter. He's one of my old competitors, and he's a very fine player. And anybody that beats him has got to play well and be a little lucky. So... Uh, Anybody in here can beat me, and I'm liable to beat anybody in here, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, Irving, I feel you'd do it. Right, you. We'll be back with the old legends in just a moment. There's more strategy. Uh, I really thought they were both very, very competitive. Oh, yes, to me it was a great match. Maybe to the fans it was boring, but... When you bring in the safety play, it's a very big part of the game. Safety play can win a lot of matches and a lot of tournaments for you, and Irving Crane 
He's one of the great safe players, and I said that in the beginning of the match, and it, it won the match for him when he got earned that shot on the eight ball and then made a great shot and come around four rails for the nine. I'm really impressed with the knowledge that both of these guys have. You're talking about people who do not make many mistakes. No, between these two players and a couple, two more players, and they hold more knowledge than all the players, you know, together. Uh, there's nothing they don't know about pool, I don't think, to tell you the truth. <laughs> All right, we've seen everybody but Cowboy Jimmy Moore. Now, he'll have to take on Jimmy Karras. Your impressions of, uh, of the Cowboy? Jimmy Moore, you'll see when you do see him play, he has a long nine-ball stroke, okay? He has one of the longer strokes in the game. He's very exciting to watch because he does things with the cue ball that you, you won't see done by these other players. Where Jimmy Now, Jimmy Karras, I watched him play tonight. He is playing better. He got a few bad rolls tonight, but he is playing better. It should be a good match. You've seen six of the seven competitors. You want to make a prediction over the long haul? Boy, that's awful tougher. How could you do that to me? I'll tell you what, Irving <laughs> Crane's playing great. Uh, Jimmy Carr's got the bad rolls, okay? Uh, Luther Lasseter caught some bad rolls. U UJ's playing good, too, okay? They're all playing good. Rag surprised me. i never seen him play before. He played better than I thought he was going to. Boy, it's going to be great. I'll tell you, I don't know. I can't make a prediction. <laughs> All right, that's a story from here. Irving Crane has defeated Jimmy Karras in the Legends of Pocket Billiards. For Alan Hopkins, I'm Irv Brown. Thanks for being with us.